Hello and welcome to my channel. Probably most of you will know what this is and for those who don't it's called a condenser and some people call it a capacitor. And on my car I'm going to show you exactly where it's kept. Without going into too much detail, the uh, current flows from the battery through the alternator into the primary winding of the coil and to the distributor. When the current reaches the distributor, it travels right through the points when the, when the points are in a closed position, but as soon as the points open, uh, it acts like a switch and the current uh, can't obviously flow through there, so it flows directly into the little condenser which is attached to the side and this is actually almost like a storage um, a storage unit it stores the electricity in there until the points close again and when it does that then it flows back into the coil through the secondary windings and gets sent out this wire here back into the distributor and obviously goes from there to all the spark plugs but that's a very um, that's the short version I've never really had an issue with uh, these condensers but um, every time I change my points I automatically just buy one of these because they're so inexpensive but um, how do we know if it's actually working or not? I've never really known how to uh, how to test these condensers, so I spoke to an auto electrician who's a friend of mine, and he told me exactly how to do it. So if you go to your multimeter, you go onto that little symbol there, which is the symbol for ohms, which is resistance. It looks like a upside down horseshoe, and you'll see that you have different different readings there. That is a 20k which is 20,000 that is 200k and that one over there is 20m which is um, yeah, that's like, oh there's a 200m as well which is the highest reading. Anyway he told me to put it onto the 20m and that's what I'm going to do okay so I've got the black and red terminals from the uh, multimeter. I'll just put that there so hopefully you can look at the reading. And I'm going to be joining um, the black one onto the lead. And I'm going to touch the red one to the casing. So my friend said that I should initially see a low reading rising up to a higher reading. If it's immediately high then the condenser has probably had it. So we'll give it a shot. And this is also a brand new condenser. I've never used it before. But that looked all right. I'm now going to test this one which is also unused uh, because it has a different connection. I bought it by mistake. Looks perfect. Now I'll have a look at one which I took off my car last year sometime. Never chucked it away. too sure about that. I'll test this one which I also took off about two years ago when I replaced the points. So now, <clears throat> now I'm going to be checking the last one and please remember if you have a bad condenser 
probably have misfiring and it might even burn your points out. So here goes for the last one. And that seems alright as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.